What's happening Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. I love being pampered and so flying to Hawaii from Portland on Alaska Airlines in first class was a dream come true. I want to say that uh, the first class upgrade wasn't that expensive but what you get for that is access to the Alaskan Lounge in the Portland Airport. Great place to get some premium seating, some quiet time, recharge your electronics, have some snacks, have a drink. It's a great place to uh, be able to kill some time instead of waiting just at the gate. Of course, the experience flying in first class is really what you're paying for. And here we have a 2x2 two two seating instead of the 3x3, three three, which is in coach. Plush leather seats and the typical first class amenities. They provided a blanket at every seat and included a bottled water as you boarded. And then you get a really generous pitch, lots of leg room between you and the seats in front of you. In this case, I was in the last row of first class. Uh, it was even a little hard to touch my backpack, which I put underneath the seat in front of me, but plenty of leg room to swing my legs, cross my legs. And that's really what you think of as first class. But for me, it's really about the shoulder room and the, the width, you know, to be able to kind of spread out without getting hit by a drink cart. Tray tables are in the armrests, they unfold. There's actually another little cup holder that extends from the middle. They do offer you champagne and mimosas when you board. Those were delicious. And did I accept? Yes, I did. You also might notice that in the seat backs in front of you, there is no built-in screen for entertainment. Nope, nothing works. You're gonna have to provide your own, although they do give you complimentary tablets with movies loaded on it if you haven't brought it. Before dinner, you'll get a hot rag to wash your hands, and then you'll get a menu included warm nuts, salad with blackberries, braised beef and ravioli, and then ice cream for dessert. They also include a number of wines and alcoholic beverages on the reverse side. You can pretty much ask for whatever you want. I actually asked for a cranberry and a Tito's vodka, which they were happy to make for me. Here's the blackberry salad. Absolutely delicious. That balsamic vinaigrette dressing that they provided was delicious and you can certainly add as much or as little as you want. It also included a dinner roll, salt and pepper, and then the nice thing was a little tropical flower. Really nice touch. The ravioli was delicious, included some vegetables. And then I opted for the braised beef, which was very delicious. The side of cabbage was a little bit tart for my taste, but uh, the beef was absolutely fantastic. Oh yeah, baby. Now the sea salt with caramel ribbons ice cream I've never seen before and I don't know where you get this, but I have to find out where you can buy this thing because it was decadent and amazeballs. A short while after the meal, they provided you some warm nuts, which were a delicious snack. And then at the end of the flight, they gave everyone some Seattle chocolates with sea salt. I tried it. And yes, they're amazing too. So if you want to fly first class with Alaskan Airlines, I think it's a great value. It's only a small cost over the coach seats, but I think between the experience, the food, the extra leg, and the extra width and shoulder room, it's a great value and a great way to enjoy a long haul flight. Peter Von Panda, out.